I've already been at this one. You can see I swapped out those tuners. Anyway, there's something else I really wanted to show you in this part of the video, so let's go look at it. Because in order to swap those tuners out on the Fibson, the Fibson, that's right, a cheap guitar that I'm going to improve slightly because it's already pretty good. Uh, but anyway, to swap these tuners out, I need these ones, and in order to put these ones on the Fibson, because this is a real Gibson. That's that's the only expensive guitar I own. Um, I have to take those black ones that I pulled off the LPJ uh, and put them on there. Now I already said uh, I don't I think in my video yesterday that I that I I wanted to work out a way to take these these nicer looking buttons off of the original tuners from this, and I have done. I've worked out a really simple way to do that. So I'm going to show you how I did that. All right, there's our two new buttons. And here's all I've done. I've just drilled a hole right here. Okay, bring it around, it's just a hole. Nothing to see there. Okay. Then I pop these tuners in here like this. And very gently, I'm under it with a claw hammer and just start prying it up and off she comes. Alright, let me turn you back on. This is, this part of it is a lot harder than I wanted it to be. I've gotten three of them done, but this is quite a pain, and I'm already committed now. <laughs> I've got three of them on there, so I'm going to keep going. Um, but this is a super duper pain, and I'm just kind of going at it in a very brute force manner. So I'm just taking these, and I'm just going to ream them out a bit just to make them, because they're really tight. They're really hard to get on. 
Uh, but it seems once I get them past a certain point that they just go down nicely. So if I can just kind of get them over that initial hump. Then like I said, I'll put a bit of super glue on them. But they're really, really hard to get on. So I'm trying to just get it seated. And then I'm taking the good old fashioned toque wrapped around a hammer method and just giving it a few love taps to get it going. That's it. Went in. Nice and straight. Okay, they're all done. Let's get them lined up here and have a look. Perfect. I'm happy with that. Okay, so it turned out to be a little bit more work than I anticipated, but came out good. So I'm going to put just a t draw a little drop of glue in each one, let them dry for a little while, and then those will be ready to throw on the old SG. Just again quickly, Gibson back the way it was, underwhelming. That one's done for now. I had planned to do all three at once, but I've decided I want to give everybody a good look at the Fibson. Uh, we'll do some digging around, point out some of the stuff that uh, clearly makes this a Fibson, but also a really nice copy. Anyway, so I'll do probably, hopefully, a little bit more in-depth video. I know I'll have a whole nother day away from the kids, but this video is going to be super long if I include all three of these guitars, so... Like I said, I think I'll just do the Fibson on its own. Yeah, so I'm going to end this video. These guys... Well, this guy will come back when I get the pickguard. And hopefully by that point I'll have... I'll have uh, figured out something I want to do with those pickups because I gotta do something. I can't just leave them plain black. I had thought maybe uh, just a little white rim around the inside edge or something just to break up that black. Just for the time being. Um, which might be a nice little cheap alternative. You know, something like the like that truss rod cover. That might that might solve my problem. I might do that. But anyway. Uh, so I'm going to cut this video off because it's already going to be super long because I've done all this stuff here. Um, and yeah, I'll be back with the Fibby, I don't know, four or five days time. We'll see. Cheers everyone. Ha! I built a Davy.